Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about your digital camera sensor, how it works and how it sees the world differently to how the photo actually looks. Now you may think your sensor is quite simple. You press your shutter button, your sensor can see out and your image pops up on your screen. However, there's a bit more to it than that. Now imagine your sensor on a bigger scale. It's like a big square grid made of little boxes. These boxes are called photo sites. In all cameras, each photo site has a filter placed over it. Typically, it's what's called a Bayer Array filter. It's simply a colour filter that only lets a colour through it. Now there are three filters, a red, green and blue. So if you have a red filter over your photo site, only red will pass through it. Now when you press your camera shutter button and exposure begins, these little boxes begin to fill up with photons, which are the little particles of light. And once the exposure finishes, these little boxes close. And it's time to assess how many photons fall into each photo site. The amount of photons in each is calculated and quantified as a bit depth. Effectively, a coded version of a number between 0 and 255 for an 8-bit image. Now, don't worry if this doesn't make sense to you right now. It's quite literally counting the amount of light in each part. Once the camera has worked out the colour intensity for each different photo site, it can generate a map of the photo taken, and then through other components, the camera colours the photo accordingly. So there we have it, digital camera sensors and how they work. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.